Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Raymond McMillan and in today's video we'd be talking about the conditions, the three types of conditions you would find in any insurance policy document. One, summer term conditions precedent to contract. Big word, all it means is the conditions which must be met in order for the contract to be a valid contract. Two quick examples. One is called utmost good faith. That's the a fundamental principle of insurance which says the item you are proposing to insure, to insure sorry, actually exists. The second one is insurable interests. That means you have the legal right to come and insure this item. If you should breach any one of those conditions, the contract is void. There's a Latin phrase called ab initio. It means that the contract never existed. Insurer gives you back your premium. No condition, no policy is in force. Let's move to the second type of conditions you would find in a policy document. And these are called conditions precedent to, like, precedent to contract. Or meaning, simple meaning is continuing conditions. The contract has started and now the insurer may impose a condition. Let's take a supermarket. They may put a condition stating all this flour and sugar should be on pallets. A second example could be fire extinguishers. These should be on, on a contract, a maintenance contract, where they are inspected every six months. Those are continuing conditions or conditions subsequent to contract. Now, if you breach any one of these terms, the insurer can cancel the policy. The word we use in insurance jargon is voidable. Voidable at the insurance option, they can cancel the policy. The third set of conditions which you would find in any policy document, it's called conditions precedent to liability. Big word, all it means is these are the conditions which you, the insured, must comply with before the insurer pay a claim. Let's take theft insurance. One of the conditions precedent to liability is that you must report the theft loss to a, the police and produce what is called a, a, a police or a crime reference. If you fail to do this, the penalty is the insurer would have the right not to pay the claim, but the policy wouldn't be cancelled. And those are the three sets of conditions you would find in any insurance policy document. Now, claim is where a lot of clients have problems with insurance. In my next video, I'll be talking about the doctrine of estopel. It's a big word, but it's very good information for anyone who would have a claim and have problems with an insurer. Thank you for listening. Please remember to subscribe to my channel below if you like what you've heard. Also, click the like button. And if you want to have access, the first access to my next video, which would be on Wednesday this week, it would just click the notification button above. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen.